Here's Monday, the 18th of February, and we're fishing in Shoreham Beach. out fishing Sean Beach today. I was hoping for some place but as you can see the clear water is just a bit further out out cast some distance. It was quite close in yesterday but yes yeah, woke up this morning and it's gone out a bit further. It has come in a bit closer since I've got here so maybe tomorrow the clear water might be in close. The tides are getting bigger at the moment. Um, rig wise I'm just using one up one down rigs one with a load of uh, beads on it just to try and track the fish the other one just plain and for bait I'm using lugworm and squid I don't know what it is with this beach recently but I keep getting really big swells every time I fish just out of the blue okay, that's brought my line right in a bit of weed so I take that one in and have a check but it's always just very randomly, just giant waves, just out of nowhere. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's quite a lot of weeds, just all along here. That's uh, causing a bit of an issue when the big swell's coming. It's hooking onto the line and bringing the line down. But hopefully it won't be too much of a trouble. I thought I'd use my multiplier rods and reels today. Don't normally use it. I bought it a couple of years ago. And I just always prefer fixed full, but I thought I'd try and start using it a bit more this year. It's a Daiwa Slosh with a Sonic Black 14 foot. Seems to give off quite good action, doesn't move too much in the waves. So, yeah, I'm quite, quite pleased with the matchup. I've never used a uh, multiplier reel before I bought this and picked it up quite easily, but I still find fixed full just easier to use. Before I just show you what's it like over by Shoreham Arm. You can see the arm just here, still a bit of a swell. But if you compare the clear water, you can see a bit better over here. Sort of just here, you might just be able to cast into the clear water just off the arm. It might be the same for Wem here. I'm yeah, let's take my multiplier rod in. That's the one with all the beads. But I'm gonna think I've got to take it in, check the bait, and cast it out again. So this is the rig I'm using. It's just a one up, one down rig. Bit of lugworm and some squid. And before I didn't last, we're not the same hooks in my last video. Um, still getting big swells coming in. I don't know what causes them. They seem to come in about three or four. I'm sure there's probably a term those sort of waves. It's normally quite quite calm and then all of a sudden you just get big rollers just come in like three or four in a row and they come right up. Here you can see the tide line when they're coming up to. But I'm gonna get this rod back out and hope there's some fish are about. I've been getting a few little rattles on my right hand rod there with the white tip. I've taken it in for a while so I think I might take it and have a look. Nothing out of time, as you can see, the weed is starting to come in. But looks like the bait is still there on the top hook. Bottom hook looks like it's still there as well. That is what I'm having to deal with, just freak waves like that. I don't know what's causing it, but if anyone knows what sort of waves they cause, what causes them, please let me know. Okay, still no more fish. I 
can't be on blank number three surely as you can see now the clear water is literally getting close in it's getting close to um Carson range so if i can i might have another cast out and try and reach it looks like there's even further clear water further out but there's definitely a color difference in the water there it looks a lot clearer to me so i'm gonna cast that again and see if i can reach it all right guys i've just taken both my rods in we baited both of them up I'm gonna have one last cast on both my rods um just a little tip i do if i'm using a one up one down rig and i haven't got anything to clip it up on i just turn the hook upside down and hook it on the gripper weight they normally come straight off as soon as they hit the water so you can just get that little bit extra distance when you're casting but the sea's calmed down a bit now wind's picking up but yeah like i said this is going to be my last cast let's pray for a fish don't know if you can see but it's starting to get big grass of weeds coming in quite close they are drifting uh, westwards but there seems to be quite a lot of them so i think i'd be calling it a day after this cast either way because the size of that one out there is huge it just take my stuff right down to the bottom Okay, I've now fished two hours up and one hour down. Still no bite, so I think it's time to take them in. Um, I better hurry up for all my subscribers coming want to come talk to me. But no, no fish, but it looks fins, but I'll take them in and let's have a look at the bait. Okay, I've just taken both my rods in. Baits are untouched on both hooks. So it looks like nothing's there at all today. Um, I've got the rest of this week off so I'm sure I'll be out again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and also push that bell notification sign um, that means you get a notification straight away it's all, for, it's all free subscribing and notifications and everything like that so that means you'll get a, a notification when my next video comes up um, yeah thanks for watching this video shame it's blank number three of this year but oh well that's fishing and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching